What is up, my friends? Jesse Q with Just Man Sports Cards. Thank you for joining me. We're going to go over my Kobe collection. I do have doubles of some of these, uh, but I'm just going to basically show what I have. Don't have a whole lot, uh, mostly rookies, but we'll go over the cards and then uh, also kind of how I, I look at the rarity and I'll pop up charts where I can. Hoops, rookies. Uh, so this is not the base. Um, this is an insert. And I've showed it on my channel before, but these are great to use. I use one from 1999. It still has everything. So then you just come to 96 hoops. You find the insert hoops rookie. And then it shows you everything. 30 card set, 1 in 6. So then you know the Kobe is... Take you 180 packs, which is about four or five boxes. It gives you an idea. It's not like super common. Flare. This came out of a premium product. Product. Uh, this is row one. Row two. These have came down to a reasonable price. You can pick these up for like 50, 60 bucks. I think is a good value for a cool card. The backs says the row, and then the C is the card number. Metal edge. This insert. These are hard to get in high grade. Uh, you can see it's kind of embossed a little bit. Anytime a card's embossed, it, the chipping on the back's a lot more likely where it's embossed. So let me pull up in the magazine where it's at. So 96 Metal Edge, you can see here. 1 in 36, and then there's 15 cards. So it'd basically take you 15 boxes to pull this card. Um, the 8s go for 50, 60 bucks. I think for finding 1 in 15 boxes, that's highly undervalued. Um, I've been talking more on my channel, but you have to pay attention to the picture and people really want the picture in the card uh, yeah I've been picking these up cyber this kind of has to be a little more uh, you're it's definitely different it's a cool card I like the Ray Allen actually a little better it's the back One and six to 120 packs, so like three, four boxes. Um, so those go for like the same. This goes for the same price as the Metal Edge, even though it's a lot less rare. I don't know why that is. Freshly forged. I really like the Allen Iverson in this. Uh, so you can see how it's kind of like forged out of the metal. I just wish it was kind of like a better picture. I'm not crazy about the picture on it. That's the back. And then the freshly forged here is 1 in 24. Uh, and then 15 cards in the set. So that's, that's about 12 boxes. So that's quite a few boxes to hit one of those. This is slowly shaping up to be one of my favorite Kobe Bryant rookie cards. The rookie preview. Um, the other rookies in the set, their cards, minus Ray Allen, his are really easy to find for whatever reason. But the Allen Iverson, Steve Nash, they do not pop up. Uh, so I don't really know why that is. Uh, there's like four of these listed on eBay right now, and they don't come up to auction that often. So there's like one at auction, but you have to kind of list it high. Skybox, come to here, and then we're looking for the rookie preview. One in 54 packs. And that's crazy, right? 18 card set, it's all the rookies. I rarely see the other rookies pop up. And it's kind of like a foil card. So getting an eight 
especially on the front, is not that easy. I have probably five or six Ray Allens and then like two Allen Iversons. They don't pop up that often. Starting lineup. These are a little harder to notice in the auctions just because it's it's not like a big difference, but it says it right there. Um, these came with the action figure. I'll pull up a pop chart for these. It's it's not crazy. Um, I bought two of these in the last month because they. I mean, it, all cards have came down quite a bit, but tops youthquake. Um, I like this a lot more over the Chrome. I'll show you the odds. This is a lot more rare. Uh, I realized Topps Chrome was more expensive per pack, so then the value should probably be the same. The Topps Chrome has a higher chance of greening, um, so that's why I'm kind of a bigger fan of this. These sometimes it's uh, it is like a it's kind of like a piece of wood that they put like this gloss over. So if you hold them in hand, it's a cool card to hold in hand. But they do bow, and then they do get this like um, I don't know what to call that. And the, it's kind of like how wood is. So sometimes you see these come back like with really low grades, and I think it's just sometimes the the grader has a hard time knowing how to grade it. But this is it is common if you see that on the back. So let me pop over to. So here's tops, and then it's all alphabetical. So the youth quake right here is one in 36, 15 cards. So it's 15 boxes, and then the tops chrome is one in 12, 15. So it's three times less rare, and the chrome goes for more. That's one I haven't been able to figure out. And that's why I buy the, the paper version. Ultra Gold Medallion. I'm down on like all these cards because I bought them like most of them a year ago. So but I'm not really selling them, so it's it's not the end of the world. Gold Medallion, Ultra. Uh the gold medallion in the first series is a lot more rare. In the second series, it's not as rare as I thought it would be. So over the last two years, I've, I've gradually gotten more educated on the Ultra set. So the thing to look here, and this is where I kind of flubbed up, is the Golds in Series 1, series one were 1 in 12 packs. That HR is Hobby and Retail. And then the Golds in Series 2 are 1 per pack. So then 30, you get 36 of them in the Series 2 box, so it would probably take you 5 boxes to hit one. But then you're only getting three per box. So then that's like 40 boxes in Series 1. It's just a huge difference. And if you look up the price, it's a huge difference. Um, this part is kind of gold. You'll see that. And sometimes it's foggy. but And then they always add the G. I haven't shown these off a lot just because I, I pick them up here and there. They go for under 50 bucks most of the time for an 8. Um, an 8 is, I've gone over a lot of Ray Allen's of these, but yeah, the chipping here is, is typically where you see it, uh, just on the black. So 8s are not easy to get. And the all rookies. It's right here. So they're not super rare. One, four, 15 cards. That's uh, 90 packs. So like three boxes to get a Kobe. It's just high grade. It's hard to get. And you'll see that the, the difference in an eight and a nine in this price is crazy. And the biggest rookie I have, I, I showed it off in my top 50. And it's card number... I mean card number one. Um... I can't remember now. So if you want to check out my top Kobe Bryant rookie card, go check that out. I've been meaning to pick up another one of these, but I've been trying to focus on rarity. So 
these at one point in time were were crazy. They came down a lot. You can probably get one for 50, 60 bucks in a nine. Eights are probably half that. Kinetics, uh, these are one in 20 packs, 20 card set. Uh, so that's what, 400 packs to pit, hit a Kobe. These boxes really aren't around anymore. There's a couple of them out there. It's Dirk and Paul Pierce and Jason Williams rookie year. I was big on these cards. They're pretty cool. This is a card that I've added this year. In the last probably six months. Um, sometimes I don't show cards when I pick them up just because I'm trying, I might be trying to get a higher grade or at different angles. It, it's just cool. And then it's Duncan right there. So that's kind of what an eight looks like on the back. And I see people pay quite a bit for the raws and they're in worse shape than this. And I'm like, it's going to get a seven. Or this is an eight. And this is a set most people just, they're kind of sleeping on it. I think it's Curry's rookie year. The PSA 7 of his in this card, they're number two. Yeah, 1948, because it's supposed to be a, a throwback of Bowman 48. Um, maybe I'll flash that up, what a Curry 7 goes for. It's crazy. This was under 30 bucks, I think. Um, so this is a set I've been watching, and I've picked up a Magic Johnson in it, and then I've shown on the channel, I, I have a raw Julius Irving, and I think I have a raw Paul Pierce. So I think it's... That's all I have. Um, thank you for joining me. Uh, hit the like button if you, you like the content. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's mostly 90s content here, so I appreciate it. Uh, all the support around that, and it helps me just crank out more videos. Catch everyone later.